Hi, I'm LP Master 6, and welcome to Let's Play Famicom Grand Prix 2 3D Hot Rally, the sequel to Famicom Grand Prix F1 Race, which is the spiritual successor to F1 Race. Oh, the music is wonderful, and we have had a departure from F1 racing. Now it is rally racing, a true American sport. Oh, there is a fan translation of this game available on the internet that changes that one set of Japanese letters that comes right after Chorus 1. I don't know what else it does because I can't find any other Japanese letters except for in the stuff that doesn't work anymore. There's only three courses, so you're thinking, man, this game is short, but the courses are long. Because apparently, according to other YouTube videos of this game, that's what rally racing is all about. It's hard, it's rough, it's rugged. Put the name of this car on the screen. Put the name of this car on the screen. And this one is called The Monster. It has made numerous other cameos in Nintendo products. <clears throat> but I'm going to be using the first one because I think it's the easiest. And we're going to go push start, game start, and select course one out of only three. But I'm going to show you how this works, how long it is. You see this track once side B comes up? Please wait. And you're going to think, oh geez, that's short, but oh it's not. And we're going to set a repair point. And since I don't have any data actually saved on this, I have only beaten this course once and I haven't beaten the other two. I like to set my repair point, which fully repairs any damage to your car. Either right before the middle or right after. And I'm going to go with right after. Because I slightly know what I'm doing. If that bottom part is flickering to you, it is for me also. Oh yeah, B is the brake for this and not second gear because we got four gears. Use the control pad for those. We're going to be using this trusty old car with these nice street lamps. Nice updated graphics from the previous game. If I could sneeze right now, I'd do it. I don't have to sneeze, but I want to sneeze. It would just add a bunch of flavor to my to my feelings right now. <clears throat> now, let me explain this bottom. The time that is going up, that is how long you've been on this track. The 1 minute and 18 seconds next, that is how long you have before your time bank starts counting down. If you get to, to that amount of time and you aren't at the first checkpoint yet, then your time bank will start counting down. And what I picked up was hot balloons, or whatever they're called. And if you get eight of those, you can go into the hot gear, the specialty fifth gear. But you gotta have those freaking balloons, my man. Mario is the driver. Luigi is his passenger and navigator. But I'm really the navigator here. So Luigi's just there for show, because he wasn't in the original. We passed the checkpoint. In all those places we could have sat repair points, those are checkpoints, so now you know how long it is. That rest there that keeps going down, that's how long you have before the next checkpoint. And guess what? It's in stupid kilometers. Kilometers. I don't actually say kilometers. That was a joke. But I realized that people actually do sometimes say kilometers. And I don't agree with that. Because I'm really hungry and my girlfriend made spaghetti. And I have my last can of Hormel Vegetarian Chili for lunch. Because I have to drive 40 minutes away to get them. And I'm never in that town. So I normally have to wait until I go to a town that's an hour and 30 minutes away. Life is tough. And then you got your damage meter. If you run into stuff, which I luckily have not yet. You got that. And you got your speed down there. Crazy. And the only time you're going to want to use a gear that's not fourth gear is if you're wanting to pass a car or there's, it gives you the warning for a big curve or I like to do it so I get more accuracy on my hot balloons speaking of let's go into the mysterious hot gear now you'd think this would be held a control but it's not it's hot it's and it's 3d because if you press select you go into 3d mode because the Famicom had a 3d peripheral and I don't know any other games it's used for except this but see, I was hot, and I still didn't run into anything. It was so hot. It was not cold. It was hot. We're in the desert, and it's hot. <clears throat> I'm running out of breath. I'm sorry. 
Ooh, oh, I spun out, but that didn't do any damage. It just slows you down. Our time bank has increased because we passed the checkpoints with such relative ease and extra time. We're doing so hot. It's so hot. Okay, that's why you should go into third gear, because otherwise you're going to miss all your hot balloons. Mm. Just relax in this nice desert atmosphere. See, this game is pretty good. Its predecessor is right below F1 Race in terms of all fun gameplay. This game, definitely above both of them. Definitely. I don't know of what other games it's above, if it's better than any of the other games I've played that are better than the original F1 race, I'll put it on the screen right now for my personal review. Instead of out of 10 or out of 5 or a number, I go in comparison because numbers are arbitrary and made up by human beings and so are video games, but that's irrelevant. <sighs> Oh, and then you got these little pillars. My girlfriend just flushed the toilet. And I'm so ready to eat spaghetti. I'm completely out of food. I don't want to go to Walmart yet because I mean spending money. Why am I going so slowly? Sometimes that happens where I got to completely reset and just take off the A button. Oh, it was because I was on the sidelines. Mmm. So, uh, both of my friends who have been on this channel lately, they got jobs at Pizza Hut where I work, and my I trained Grant James yesterday on how to be a server. If you've been keeping up with my last Let's Play, there's some continuity there. I ran into something! I'm done with this game. It's too hard. And then... I told I told my my manager at the time, Don, that my girlfriend had spaghetti at home, so I wanted to go home. And he said, "I thought you were the chili guy. They say you got your own bowl with your name on it." And it's true. So I'm glad my rumors are spreading. My life's looking up because of this fact. And I don't know, life's pretty good with a reputation as the chili guy. Things can't go wrong. I'm keeping left so I don't miss the repair point because I specifically put it on, you know, where you take the left. I'm so hungry. We're not ha we're not even halfway there. We're in the nice ice world. Okay, we're in fourth gear. Why is it not speeding up? And we're gonna have to get some hot to go and we're gonna have to get some hot. <laughs> there is no multiplayer for this game, sadly. No time trial, nothing but it's still a better game. But that's just a game. A game game. Game, game, game. Look at those mountains. Look at what detail. My, what mountains you have. I'm tired. I fell asleep on the couch and I woke up and I started practicing and I'm hungry. And I finally beat some of my Christmas games, Pokemon Ultra Sun. I beat Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions, except for the Bowser's Minions mode. I got frustrated, so I took a break from it. And there's a Nintendo Direct tonight, and I'm really excited. And they says they're going to talk about Mario Tennis Aces, like that's their big highlight. It better not be their highlight, I really hope it's not. Why am I going so slowly? Oh god. Oh god, the time bank is counting down. <laughs> Why can I not get a good take of this? I'm keeping it anyway. You want me to turn on the 3D? Ah! I tried it with 3D glasses and it didn't change anything. Oh, there's the repair point. You know, it's repair point if it's red. You want me to be silent and let you hear the great music? That's just an excuse so I don't have to talk anymore because I'm out of breath. <sighs> oh, this is hot! Mm, it's burning my hands touching this keyboard because I'm too lazy to reinstall my GameCube controller drives because it wouldn't work with Steam because I was trying to play VR chat because I played it once and oh, I got hot and I didn't even know it. 
Mm, let's go hot. We're going hot. We're not going cold. Oh, we might be in the ice world, but our blood is running hot. It's scalding. It's burning. It's hot. That's really all I have to say today. What is it doing? Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, no. We have four seconds to make it. We're not going to do it. We were so close. Oh, Mario and Luigi, get out of the car at least. No! Time up. And you can see where we got. We got to that, almost to that checkpoint after the repair point. God, we're not going to beat any of the courses. I'm a failure. But since this is a Japanese game trying to be an American game, we're just going to say I beat it because I basically did because I'm an American. <laughs> now, we're going to try save. Oh no, I shouldn't have hit that. So you're not getting to see any of the courses beat, but I'm still doing this as a Let's Play. I'm using DS headphones that are brand new from 2005, never been used. I found them in my DS case, all my other headphones broken. I gotta use headphones. So are you guys having a good day? I'm uh, more LP Master 6 lore. We're going to be moving in with my buddies Cole and Grant soon, saving some money, not having to deliver pizzas as much. Course 2, no subtitle. And we're going to be using this shitty car. This is the worst car, but I'm still going to show it. And I forgot about something very important. I n I've never tried this once, but if we're low on, you know, if our damage meter is looking a little low... Mm, I'm gonna have to fix it up. We're gonna do the same tactic veer left, but the replayability comes from, you know, veering different, adventuring on the different paths, and it's pretty cool. I actually think that's a really nice detail. They, they really did a good job with this game. And the last one, it was just hard, and it was all placement, and it was all artificial difficulty, and it was stupid because it was a European phenomenon. If I press start here, Oh, best time, 100 minutes. Can we beat that? Yes, we can. Okay, you can do repairs where they get out of the car and they repair it, and it takes a lot of time, So, but it's for emergencies. Like, if you right in front of the checkpoint, you got some extra time, you can just repair. If not, you can just give up, and you can be a little bit gloomy about it. Now, this car sucks because the turning sucks and it's not that fast. It doesn't really have many pros going for it that I've seen. Uh, I mean, it kind of goes fast. The monster's the one that really knows what it's doing. So we're going to be using that one for course three. I can't believe I ran out of time on the first course. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I'm thinking about food that I want. I'm all out of Oreos. So if anybody's watching this, I want you to have a great day. I want you to have a really good day. Because I'm having a pretty good day. Now that my, I, I usually I have terrible obsessive compulsive problems. So I alternate my activities strictly Without uh, Let's Play interference, my friend's interference, or especially, you know, doing stuff with my girlfriend. I don't let my OCD dominate that. But otherwise, when left to my own accord, I don't know what these signs say. I don't know if there's actual characters on those. I think there are actual English characters. Oh, jeez, I hate this windy road. Ooh, you know what would be fun? Let's turn on the 3D! That doesn't work! Maybe it works with red and blue 3D glasses only. I was using those real D 3D glasses, and I lost my red and blue ones. And my girlfriend made me throw out all my extra ones, because they were they were getting in the way. We were stepping all over them. It was like a flood in the house of extra 3D glasses of all kinds. So now I only have the two pairs, and I better be able to find them, or so help me God, I will strike a match to whose name has stolen my 3D glasses. 